Welcome everyone. My name is Jose and I'm with Summit Metals. Today, we're going back in time to discuss how people used to authenticate gold and silver coins. So walk with me over here as we check things out. Before we get started, please like, comment, and subscribe so you could be entered into winning a five ounce silver starter pack. Here, we have a digital scale. Around 3000 BC, the Egyptians used to use a balance scale to measure items. They had a standard dimensions they would weigh against. They would put gold or silver on the left side of the balance scale and the right, they had something that was exact measurement to understand how much the value would be. But we don't have that to represent. This is what people would use for the time being. Now, if we go in here and put it on the digital scale, you see that's approximately one troy ounce. That is exactly how much this silver round should weigh. Now, as we move on the timeline to 600 BC, we now get to see the scratch test where people would grab their coins and metals and scratch it down on the line. They would have a reference point of what 24 karat gold would look like versus fake gold. Uh, back then, it was kind of hard to have a preciseness of 24 karat, 18 karat. So they did the best they could with what they knew was pure gold and compare against that. Now we move from 600 BC down to 300 BC, the specific gravity test. Now here you're playing tricks with physics and people are really understanding what the metal composition is and the weight should be. And we're going to do a zoom in to show how exactly this is done because it needs a deeper dive into it. This is how it works. You grab your coin and you wait. You put the beaker filled with water, you zero it out. Now tie a string to your coin. Put it into the water without touching the edges, fully submerged and record the weight. The scale will show the weight of the water displaced. Now you grab the dry weight of the coin, divide it by the submerged weight, and that gives you the specific gravity test weight. If the numbers are off, then something's off with this coin. Now we fast forward 1000 years to the 1600s, minting becomes precise and so does measurement. You can see here, caliper, you're able to measure it exactly how it should in terms of width and depth. Now we go 200 years forward. This is 1800s. It's a scratch test, but now you include acid into the mix. Now in the same time period, now sound was being used to determine whether gold or silver was real based on the frequency. And thus the ping test uh, came to be. Here we see a modern version of a ping test where you just put the coin in and you can do a zoom in and you just hear the frequency going, bam. Generally speaking, a person who would do this day in and day out would know the exact frequency and determine if it was real or fake. Now we have a coin here, you ping it. Now we move to the 1900s and we have an x-ray machine now available to be able to determine the composition of metals and you're able to get the exact percentage of each one on a coin. This is a modern uh, XRF machine that you basically just put something inside, you put play, and you're able to determine what that composition looks like. Now the machine is very simple to use as well. This is typically used with high-end jewelry stores because they're always working with uh, melting jewelry. You put in any metal into it, close it, it's an x-ray machine, you wanna protect yourself, you simply activate it, and then it starts running an x-ray through the metal. And here we should see pure silver, 0.999. Now we get more modern in the 2000s, and we get an ultrasonic test. How it works is the machine gets put on the metal, and it determines the time it takes for the sound wave to reach to the bottom of the metal, to the top, and that gives you an idea of the composition and inside, that's it. All right, so now you see here, the device is on. We simply put a little bit of glue on the top, place it on the coin. Typically you wanna do this on a bar and you're able to see the frequency in which the sound waves are going through the coin and back. This is just a demonstration it's not actual representation of the correct frequency. Now we get to 2010, 
the biggest blessing in the bullion industry, which is the Sigma machine. It's an electromagnetic machine. It looks through the actual metal and determines with great precision whether your metal is fully 24 karat, 22 karat, 21 karat, or silver, whatever it may be. Multiple options. You simply put it into the machine and it tells you whether the outside composition is correct and the inside as well. So here, you just simply place on this machine, it's called Sigma Pro. A lot of bullion dealers have it, local coin shops. This is the most popular one. And you can see here that the outside and the inside through test showing that silver, fine, 999. Very easy to use and a very good machine to have. This coin right here is one of the coins we just recently received that was sold to us and we're doing the verification process. We've done it and we found it to be fake. But just to understand the authentication process, you can never count on just one methodology to determine its authenticity. You need to use minimum two to three methods to determine it. Watch this with the XRF machine. Here, what many don't understand is it is looking between one micrometer to two micrometers in depth. And so when we go and click play, you'll see that is 24 carats. That's what it's being read as. And we move it to our second test into the Sigma to do an electromagnetic test, which is already preset. It will fail immediately. Great. So now you've seen all the methodologies used to test gold and silver coins, and you've been able to experience what it looks like to see one coin pass the test and fill another, please don't get scammed out there. Use multiple methods to test your bullion. And to close out, please like, subscribe, and comment down below in order to be entered to win a five ounce starter pack and join us on the next video to announce the winner. And speaking of winners, it's time to announce the lucky subscriber from last week's giveaway. Congrats to Boxer Bull 1984 You've won a free five ounce starter pack. Email us at sales at summonmetals.com to claim your prize. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Happy stacking.